Make sure you stay until the end. We will explain common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays, guys, and how that can cost you quite a bit of money that you don't need to spend. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Malibu. We're talking specifically about that generation that you see right here from year 2016 to year 2023 currently. If you have one of those and you have a problem where the radio does not turn on, stay with us, we'll explain what you need to check. There is one fuse that you need to check, maybe even two. And often by pulling them out, even if they're not burned for a few seconds, it may reset the system and start working again. So we'll explain where you can find them, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important, guys, to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us, guys. If you have a Chevy Malibu, we are talking about that generation here from 2006 to all the way 2023, guys. If you have one of those, we'll be making a video about every fuse, every relay in that car. Why we do that, guys? To save you time and money. Let's say you're down the road, you're in the middle of nowhere, your car does not start, you're trying to find where the engine starter fuse or fuel pump fuse is located. All you have to do, come to the channel, search less than one, two minutes, you fix that problem, you're back on the road because sometimes in the menus it, it will not be cleared it will not be mentioned guys if you need to buy guys okay any parts tools fuses anything for your chevy money boy the really good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money we will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out now here in the garage guys we constantly work on things constantly working on new vehicles guys we do engine work mechanical work transmission work body work anything you can think of so we're constantly adding new vehicles so if you need help with anything just leave a comment below so let's go ahead and start on it now so now let's explain guys if the radio does not turn on which fuse you need to check you guys have uh, up to three different fuse boxes in this car and today we'll be working just one of them the fuse box that we need is on the driver's side open the driver door on the left side of the steering wheel if you look down right here guys okay under the headlight switch you have one cover go ahead open it and you will guys see a fuse box layout that will look just like this one uh, before we guys continue quickly let's explain why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below so what we have here now guys okay we need to check one maybe two fuses we'll talk about that first never assume anything about fuse numbers why because this one goes like that one two three four five six seven eight nine then it goes to 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 but the fuse that we need it's on this side and it starts with fuse number 38 39 40 41 42 talking about that fuse guys right there that's the fuse that you will need to check that's your radio fuse check it if it's good pull it out let it sit for a minute pull it back in see if that fixes the problem if you have an amplifier system you may need to check the fuse for the sound amplifier guys we'll have the video on the channel if you need help with that thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time